Balkan Ancestry. Balkan Ancestry reflects a long history lived at a global intersection where civilizations met, armies crossed, merchants traveled, and genes mingled. Across centuries, this region absorbed layer upon layer of immune-related diversity as Greek, Roman, Ottoman, and Near Eastern lineages intertwined. The result is a population with unusually rich genetic diversity in immune pathways like the HLA genes, granting a broad defensive repertoire against infectious disease. In essence, Balkan biology functions like a multi-key immune system. If one pathogen bypasses a particular genetic defense, another variant often stands ready to intercept it. This diversity shapes present-day physiology, broad antibody profiles, resilient responses to historic plagues, and balanced susceptibility across many immune challenges all mirror this mosaic heritage. Even the region's mix of physical features, light and dark, northern and Mediterranean, echoes the melding that built such immune depth, while climates ranging from alpine cold to Adriatic heat further blended adaptive traits. But diversity carries complications. A wide gene pool means rare recessive variants occasionally pair unexpectedly, and complex immune networks can heighten inflammatory tendencies in a small subset of individuals. These risks become sharper when modern environments alter microbial exposure or lifestyle balance. Still, Balkan ancestry stands as a testament to the resilience born from mixture, an immune architecture strengthened by centuries of crossroads and convergence. Aboriginal Australian Ancestry Aboriginal Australian ancestry begins in one of the world's harshest climates, the Australian continent, where scorching days and cold desert nights shape the human body with relentless precision. This lineage is often defined by tall, slender frames, long limbs, and some of the deepest natural skin pigmentation outside Africa. Traits that form a living dialogue with heat, light, and dryness. These physiques function as natural thermal regulators. Long limbs disperse heat efficiently, while a lean build releases warmth during the day and conserves it at night. Many aboriginal groups also carry a thyroid-related genetic variant that tempers the body's usual heat response signals, allowing internal temperature to rise safely before sweating begins. In a land where hydration once meant survival, this was an extraordinary advantage. History shaped perception as much as biology. Desert peoples adapted to scanning wide, dim landscapes, giving rise to culturally refined night awareness, more a product of practiced observation than genetic rewiring. Yet every adaptation carries its balance. High melanin shields from UV, but slows vitamin D production, and the muted fever response can mask infection. Still, this ancestry stands as a testament to quiet resilience, an evolutionary conversation between body and environment written across millennia. Tibeto-Burman Ancestry Southwest Chinese and Tibeto-Burman ancestry, represented by Tibetans, Sherpas, and Highlanders of Yunnan and Sichuan, carries one of the most striking human adaptations on Earth mastery of life in thin air. On the Tibetan plateau, where oxygen drops to nearly half of what is seen at sea level, these populations evolved a physiology that treats hypoxia not as a threat, but as a familiar state. Variants in genes like EPAS1 and EGLN1, inherited in part from ancient Denisovan-like humans, reshape the body's response to low oxygen. Instead of overproducing red blood cells, until blood grows dangerously thick, Highlanders maintain normal hemoglobin while enhancing oxygen delivery through expanded chest cavities, higher resting breathing rates, and elevated nitric oxide that dilates blood vessels. The effect is quiet efficiency rather than strain. Functionally, these traits allow hard labor at altitudes that leave most feeling severe altitude sickness. Sherpas climb the Himalayan mountains with extraordinary ease, Tibetan farmers till fields above the clouds, and high altitude pregnancies succeed where lowlanders struggle, but specialization has its costs. Lower hemoglobin at sea level can slightly blunt peak athletic power, and certain high-altitude gene variants may behave unpredictably in rich oxygen environments. These vulnerabilities sharpen when individuals transition to lowland lifestyles their biology never evolved for. Still, this ancestry stands as a pinnacle of rapid human evolution. Bodies shaped by mountains, cold winds, and the thin, austere breath of the world's highest home. Mediterranean Ancestry Mediterranean ancestry emerges along coastlines where sunlight is abundant, seasons are gentle, and life grew around orchards, vineyards, and the sea. Here, generations carried forward an olive-toned complexion, moderate melanin that softens the sun's intensity while still inviting steady vitamin D synthesis. This balance is one of the region's signature advantages, a skin biology tuned for bright days without the fragility of easy burning. Within the body, subtler protections appear. A long heritage of consuming olives fish, grapes, and herbs didn't simply shape culture. 
it shaped metabolism itself, genes influencing lipid processing, including those tied to the PON1 enzyme, respond strongly to monounsaturated fats, guarding blood vessels from oxidative damage. Combined with diets rich in antioxidants, this created a physiology that leans toward higher HDL, lower inflammation, and durable cardiovascular health. Evolution favored those who thrived in sun-drenched agriculture, bodies that store fat more safely beneath the skin, bones fortified by daily light, and metabolisms comfortable with energy-dense oils. Its trade-offs remain familiar. Moderate melanin can still permit sun damage, and lactose intolerance is historically common. Studies show lactose intolerance rates can go up to 75% in specific Greeks and 78% in Lebanese adults. Yet the deeper story is harmony, biology shaped by coastal light, fertile soil, and the quiet medicine of traditional foods. Khoisan Ancestry Khoisan Ancestry represents one of humanity's oldest and most versatile genetic lineages, a reservoir of diversity that has endured in southern Africa for tens of thousands of years. Instead of evolving around a single dramatic mutation, the Khoisan retained an extraordinary breadth of genetic variation, giving their populations a wide biological toolkit for survival. This diversity acts as a natural buffer. When climates shift, foods change, or diseases emerge, some individuals almost always possess alleles suited to the new challenge. In ancient foraging societies, this meant metabolic flexibility, variable immune strengths, and adaptive physical traits that collectively promoted stability in the face of drought, feast and famine cycles, and environmental extremes. Functionally, Khoisan physiology reflects this broad adaptability. Efficient kidney concentration supports life in semi-desert landscapes. Distinctive fat storage patterns help buffer against seasonal scarcity, and rapid metabolic shifts allow effective use of both lean periods and abundance. Even their calm, measured stress responses mirror a biology refined by the demands of long hunts and unpredictable environments. But diversity, too, comes with challenges. Lack of historic exposure to outside pathogens left some Khoisan groups vulnerable to introduce diseases like smallpox, and highly individualized genomes can complicate standardized medical treatments, challenges that sharpen when traditional lifestyles give way to rapid modern change. But Khoisan ancestry stands as a living archive of humanity's earliest adaptability, proof that genetic breadth itself can be an enduring advantage. Amazonian ancestry. Amazonian ancestry reflects a physiology shaped by one of the most pathogen-dense environments on Earth. In the rainforests of Brazil, Peru, Colombia, Bolivia, and Venezuela, indigenous communities evolved immune systems finely tuned to confront parasites, fungi, insects, and vector-borne diseases that once overwhelmed outsiders. High frequencies of specialized HLA alleles enhance recognition of tropical parasites, while rare variants in genes such as PPP3CA strengthen T-cell activation and even reduce the ability of Chagas-causing parasites to invade the heart. At the same time, adaptations in innate immune receptors dampen excessive inflammation, allowing strong microbial defense without the damaging overreaction typical of chronic infection. The result is an immune system that balances vigilance with restraint, an elegant solution to constant microbial pressure. These advantages manifest in elevated baseline antibodies, efficient parasite clearance, and remarkable recovery from repeated infections. In large spleens, controlled inflammation, and metabolic strategies that protect growth during illness reflect the rainforest's evolutionary demands, but specialization can carry modern vulnerabilities. Hyperactive immune wiring can misfire in cleaner urban environments, increasing risks of allergies, asthma or metabolic imbalance, and certain adaptations remain highly specific, offering little defense against novel pathogens. These challenges sharpen when Amazonian physiology leaves the ecological context that shaped it. Amazonian ancestry stands as a profound example of pathogen forged resilience, bodies and immune systems trained by the relentless pulse of the rainforest. Slavic ancestry. Slavic ancestry carries a quiet toughness shaped by centuries of winter, woodland, and waves of epidemics. Across Russia, Poland, Ukraine, and the broader Slavic world, populations evolve subtle but powerful strengths in both cold tolerance and innate immunity. Variants in toll-like receptors, interferon pathways, and other first-line defenses prime their immune systems to react quickly, producing strong antiviral responses that often shorten the course of common infections. Meanwhile, life in vast cold plains and icy forests favored efficient thermoregulation, robust subcutaneous insulation, steady peripheral blood flow in freezing conditions, and a metabolic rhythm that maintains warmth with less discomfort than many other groups. These traits surface in everyday resilience, fast recoveries, 
tolerance for sudden temperature swings, and ease with winter rituals like icy plunges or steam and snow transitions. Even historical observers noted how Slavic villagers weathered epidemics or bitter winters with surprising stamina, yet these strengths carry modern challenges. Heightened inflammatory potential can raise risks of autoimmune disorders, cold adapted metabolisms can encourage weight gain in calorie dense environments, and strong fever responses may strain the body during illness, effects that sharpen when ancient adaptations meet modern lifestyles. Still, Slavic ancestry reflects a physiology tempered by frost and fortitude, an inheritance built on endurance, grit, and the hard lessons of northern landscapes. Melanesian and Papuan ancestry. Melanesian and Papuan ancestry carries a rare inheritance, the highest proportion of Denisovan DNA found in any living population. In the tropical highlands and dense forests of New Guinea, this ancient legacy became a quiet advantage. Genetic variants passed down from Denisovan ancestors appear in immune pathways, shaping responses to parasites, viruses, and the microbial richness of equatorial terrain. These adaptations form a subtle but powerful defense system, refined through thousands of years of pathogen exposure. Physically, this ancestry is marked by some of the darkest natural pigmentation on Earth, rich eumelanin shields, DNA from extreme UV radiation, guarding folate reserves, and preventing deep tissue damage under intense tropical sun. Combined with efficient sweating and muscular, heat-adapted builds, these traits support survival in climates defined by humidity and relentless sunlight. Another notable feature is the presence of naturally blonde hair in some Melanesian populations, particularly in the Solomon Islands and Vanuatu. This is due to a specific gene mutation, distinct from the one causing blonde hair in Europeans. This is a textbook example of convergent evolution, when two unrelated populations evolve the same visible trait independently through different genetic mechanisms. Evolution rewarded resilience, immune systems tuned to unfamiliar pathogens, bodies built for heat, and metabolisms shaped for feast and famine cycles. But advantages carry their shadows. Very high melanin slows vitamin D synthesis, immune hyperreactivity can raise autoimmune risk, and thrifty genes become liabilities under modern diets, high in sugar and saturated fats. Still, this ancestry stands as a living archive, where ancient humans, tropical ecosystems, and deep time converge in the biology of a people. Basque ancestry. Basque ancestry reflects a rare form of continuity, an ancient gene pool maintained with remarkable stability in the Pyrenean mountains. For thousands of years, Basque communities experienced limited outside mixing, allowing their lineage to develop a genetic baseline with fewer harmful mutations than many neighboring populations. This stability acted as a quiet safeguard. Recessive disorders that spread elsewhere in Europe never took hold here, and natural selection gradually reduced the impact of those that did appear. High frequencies of O blood type and RH negative status stand as markers of this distinct heritage, echoing a lineage preserved across deep time. Functionally, this translates into a population historically marked by lower rates of congenital diseases, fewer metabolic disorders, and strong continuity of health across generations. Archaeological and medical records alike highlight communities with robust physical development, steady cognitive function, and fewer hereditary conditions that interrupt lifespan or vitality. Yet continuity brings its own vulnerabilities. Isolated gene pools can amplify the rare harmful variants that do exist, and limited immune diversity may leave some individuals more susceptible to unfamiliar pathogens, especially in modern globalized environments. These risks can become sharper when historic isolation meets contemporary mobility and lifestyle shifts. Still, Basque ancestry represents a living archive of Europe's deep past, an enduring lineage shaped by mountains, resilience, and the quiet strength of genetic stability. Southern African ancestry. Southern African Bantu associated ancestry carries one of humanity's most formidable biological shields, layered genetic defenses against malaria. Across regions, once dense with Anopheles mosquitoes, survival favored individuals with blood traits that made it harder for the plasmodium parasite to multiply. Sickle cell trait, perhaps the most famous, alters red blood cell shape under low oxygen, disrupting the parasite's life cycle. But this is only one line of defense. Many Bantu heritage populations also carry G6PD variants that create a chemically hostile environment inside red blood cells, hemoglobin C or thalassemia traits that limit parasite growth, and immune alleles like HLA-B53 that enhance early pathogen recognition. Each trait provides moderate protection. Together, they form a multi-layered biological fortress. Functionally, these adaptations reduce the risk of severe malaria, especially in childhood. Mild chronic anemia, 
slightly altered red cell structure, or unique enzyme patterns become protective quirks. Silent shields pass from generation to generation. Historical accounts consistently show local endurance against malaria, where unadapted outsiders suffered extreme mortality. But layered defenses bring layered complications. Double copies of these mutations can cause sickle cell disease, a painful and serious blood disorder. Serious blood disorders and G6PD deficiency heighten sensitivity to certain foods like fava beans and medications. Traits once beneficial can become liabilities when malaria is no longer the biggest problem. These issues intensify when ancient survival strategies encounter modern medical and dietary environments. Still, this ancestry reveals a profound evolutionary triumph. Human biology shaped by relentless selection, turning blood itself into a resilient, adaptive battleground. Caribbean Ancestry Caribbean ancestry is shaped not by a single environment, but by the meeting of worlds. Across these islands, African, European, indigenous, and South Asian lineages blended into one of the most genetically diverse populations on Earth. This mixture created a rare advantage, metabolic flexibility. Many individuals inherit alleles that excel at carbohydrate processing from Asian ancestors, alongside genes for efficient fat metabolism or lactase persistence from European lines and muscular efficiency and heat resilience from West African heritage. The result is a physiology capable of adapting to a wide variety of diets, climates, and physical demands. This diversity shows in daily life. Some carry high amylase levels suited for starchy tropical foods, while others digest dairy with ease. Medium to dark brown skin provides sun protection, yet spans a broad spectrum of vitamin D strategies. Immune systems, shaped by ancestors who endured malaria, dengue, and old world pathogens, often display wide-ranging genetic defenses. But advantages intertwine with vulnerabilities. Admixed populations can inherit overlapping risks, like sickle cell traits alongside thalassemias, or multiple thrifty genes that heighten diabetes susceptibility in modern food environments. Vitamin D deficiency also becomes common when darker-skinned Caribbean families migrate to colder regions. Still, Caribbean ancestry stands as proof of biological synergy, a living map of how diverse histories can merge into resilient, adaptable human forms. If you didn't find your genetic ancestry in this video, check out part one and leave a comment on which ancestries you want to hear about next.